Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I just thought I would film something really simple and easy because I know um, a lot of the videos I've put up recently have had some pretty uh, bright colors and uh, been pretty intense and glittery. So today, um, yeah, it's a really long story, but basically I was in the emergency room this past weekend. I'm still not really doing very well and I have not been able to wear makeup in a while, so I just wanted to kind of distract myself, throw some makeup on, just make myself feel a little bit better. Um, so yeah, this is my really simple, I just want to look alive <laughs> kind of uh, makeup look. So I'm just starting with the Pure Hydrogel Lift because I could definitely use some work underneath here. So the primer that I'm going to use today is the Bare Minerals Primetime uh, BB Primer Cream and this is in light. I'm also having a really hard time using my left hand so don't mind me if I kind of look a little weird. I really like this primer because it does have a hint of color to it so it just starts to even your skin out a little bit more. For foundation, this is the MAC Studio Face and Body Foundation. It is super liquidy. Um, it does not have a lot of coverage, but I figure, you know, on a day when you just kind of want to look a little bit better, like you have makeup on, but not really, um, this is usually what I always go for. So I'm just going to kind of just drop some on the top of the brush here. This is a Sigma F80. And I'm just going to kind of push that in and just kind of smooth this out. And like I said, again, this is really sheer, really light, uh, really light coverage, but <clears throat> it just starts to even your skin out. So I don't know if you can just see the difference even from just like this side of my face to this side. I'll come in a little bit. Like that already just looks so much better. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser and mine is in fair. And taking my, don't mind me, it's very dirty, <laughs> Real Techniques sponge. I'm just blending that out. And then again, that just helps to really even everything out. And because the foundation is so lightweight, it just um, gives your skin just a bit more coverage in those areas where you may want it. Before I set everything with powder, I'm going to take this Pure Sunkiss Glow highlighting palette and I'm gonna take this really light shade right here. And I'm just going to put this right on the cheekbones. And obviously you don't have to do this if you don't want to. A little down the nose. And then I've been using this Dermatones Concealer Wheel from Ofra. Oh my god, this thing is amazing. So if you're ever using a foundation that has really, really light coverage, um, you know, you can go in and use like a stronger concealer just in certain areas. Um, and it has all these different <laughs> tones depending, um, you know, what color your skin may be. So, I'm gonna mix a little bit of the center one and this one right here. And you can just dot this wherever you need, just a little bit more. And that also helps to keep, again, your makeup really, really light and not caked on. So then you want to take some type of pressed powder, loose powder, and you just want to set everything down. So I'm using my uh, Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and I'm just setting underneath my eyes. Mm -hmm. 
And anywhere that we did the concealer. And then just for good measure, I'm gonna take a big fat fluffy brush and just swirl it in here and just set everything down. And I don't think I mentioned this, but that um, MAC face and body is a really, really long lasting foundation. Like really, really long lasting. Um, as I mentioned like a thousand times, I'm a hygienist and literally I will come home from work after having a mask on all day long and I still have foundation and everything in place. It's awesome. So I highly recommend it. If you don't like a lot of coverage, it's a really good foundation. Oh, this bronzer is by Makeup Forever. It is the Pro Bronze Fusion bronzer and this is in the shade 20M. This looks like this. You can't go overboard with this. I'm just gonna warm up my cheeks just a little bit. Just to bring some life back right around the forehead. I'm just running a little down the sides of my nose. That's all, literally just a little bit. So the last thing for the face is uh, some blush. Again, you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I love blush. I think blush is my favorite. So I'm gonna be using MAC Margin, which gives it just it looks just like this doesn't look like too much in the pan um but this is so beautiful it gives just a really light sheen and a really light amount of color so you don't don't look dead so this way you don't have to use a highlighter and you just kind of you know reduce the amount of products that you need so i'm just gonna take some of this do you see oh it's so pretty From some of that foundation, my eyelids crease, I'm just kind of tapping that out just a little bit and I'm going to just kind of put a little bit of powder on my eyelids here. Just because it did get some foundation and concealer on there and it's starting to crease a little bit so I just want to smooth that out. For brows, instead of going in and like filling everything in and wasting like literally 10 minutes on each brow. Uh, this is from Benefit. This is their Gimme Brow. So basically this is just a fiber brow mascara. Um, so pretty much when you use it, the little fibers that are in here cling to your lashes to make your lashes look more full. Like, you know, it's not a lot, but your eyebrows are, get filled in a lot. They look more full. So if you can see that one compared to that one, it looks like I looks like I tried. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm in so much pain, I can't even think. The only eyeshadow that I'm even going to do, it's not even eyeshadow, is I'm taking the same bronzer. Oh God. I'm taking the same bronzer that I used on my face and a fluffy brush and all I'm doing is putting this into the crease just for a little bit of dimension. Eyes, I'm going to be using the Miss Manga Voluminous Mascara. The last time I used this, I hated it. So I'm actually using it to test it out to see if I do like it or if I want to get rid of it. So we shall see. For the very last thing, I am going to be taking this uh, Sephora Oil Infusion uh, Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Iced Coffee. Oh, I this stuff. I know I've talked about this in a favorites video before.
So that is my really simple, basic, I just wanna make a little bit of an effort, kinda of look like I tried, um, no makeup, makeup look. Anyway, so thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in this video. I know it was really easy, but I just I felt like the last couple of videos I've been putting out have had so much uh, glitter and bright colors that I you know, wanted to make sure that I toned it down a little bit and did something a lot easier just in case you aren't into really glittery, intense colored uh, makeup tutorials. So. I hope that you guys liked it. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.